All right, we're back. Back in it. Got a lot of things open on my screen here. Gotta have a lot of tools available. Got a little collection thing up so I can find my stray beads that I'm looking for that are available to us. And I also had to get a drink because that's very important. It's an alcoholic drink. It's just a seltzer, but you know, it's got a little bit of buzz to it. Is that the right one? No, I guess so. Alright, so what are we doing? We're gonna get some stuff. I do have to scroll to Taka Pass. There it is. Whoa! It grabs my mouse. <laughs> it's a Taka Pass. What have I not gotten for my beads? So, okay, here we go. Taka. Gotten the first one. Second one. Alright. Let's go, gamers. We're gonna run past the moles. I don't want to play as much as he wants me to. I don't. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Got the bead. All right, first bead. We're on our way. It's been a couple days, so I forgot the controls. You'll have to forgive me. What's up here? A clover. Oh, good. Oh, Kami. Excuse me. Oh, Kami. Oh, Kami. Oh, Kami. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to get the next couple beads in this area, so we're gonna move on. Now we have access to mermaid coins, so we will be able to travel a little easier. We need to get up there, right? Yeah. Over here. I know where I am. Here we are. Oh, and we still have the orbs that we collected from the three dogs. Let's see. Let's go to Shinshu. Maybe the field. Yeah, Shinshu field. Pew. Let me scroll up. There we go. Doing a little bit of collecting. We do a little collection. The second one in Kamiki. Oh, wrong button. Yeah. How we doing out there, gamers? I have tomorrow off, so I'm looking forward to not working. <laughs> I'm hoping with this playthrough that I can 100% a good majority of it. 
I would love to get all the beads. I'd love to get all the weapons and all the power-ups and everything regarding that. We'll see how that goes. Last time with our hero, we learned water moves. Been very useful. Oh, hold on. I'm drowning. Much better. Look, treasure. It's a beard! How did I know? Thanks, Google. Ooh! Okay, yeah, I want that. Thank you. Is there anything back here behind the rock? No. Look at that, we've got five in a row. Looks like we'll be able to get one, two, three, four. There's four that I should be able to have here at this point in Shinshu Field. So let's go there. Are my lily pads still there? Aw, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, Ami. Alright. Shin Shu. Wait, can I buy more stuff? I don't have anything. Um, yeah, I'll take another. Thank you. Never know when I need a mermaid coin because I'm stupid and forgot something and have to go back. I don't need it to be nighttime. Play the music. What does my brain think? My brain thinks... Hmm... I don't know what my brain thinks. I need to read this. Slice and dice. Oh, do you see that? Got the bead! Looks like we have a lot of praise. Number three. side of the river okay oh and there's a couple other little things we could do while we're here first the bead need the bead where's the bead Why is my phone vibrating? Don't they know I'm busy? I can't even tell. Oh, I found something. No, 
Nope, and I can't hit it. It is a bead! It wasn't the one I was looking for, but it is a bead. The one I'm looking for is supposed to be around here. Maybe here? I can dig. But you can dig everywhere, really. Just make holes. Maybe? With the art style of this game, sometimes you can see things clipping in and out of bushes. Or sometimes it just needs to be nighttime so you can see the little glowing coming out of the ground. Why don't we do that? Let's make it nighttime. Maybe that'll make it easier. bite it. I can also bump it. Ah, here we go. This looks promising. Another bead! Tom tom. Oh, let's look at the praise. 183? Huh. What should I upgrade? So wait, I didn't look at the beads. <laughs> I got... Okay, those, and then one... What's the one? Kamiki? Shinshu? Oh! The question marks do match up with the title of the area. So, the one, two, three, four, the first letters... It's Hana and then Valley. So there's one bead in Hana Valley that I missed. That's where the sleepy bear was. I want to know what people like as their favorite characters from this game. Because I am smitten by all the girls. Pretty much every girl character. <laughs> Alright, Hana Valley, let's go. Fast as fuck, boy! Shit, look. Right here. Another bead for me. What can I say? I'm an expert. I'm gonna take a big gulp of this drink. Ah, oh, you like the drinking ASMR. Alright, a couple things we could do. Oh no, it's not there. It's... And then... The sun. Okay, where's the nameless man? Got anything for me? Earth and wears like a mirror into the soul. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Just finished firing my first piece. Ooh, that's very nice. The azure neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like. Alright, cool. Mine now. Now 
let's see. That looks good. Praise. Alright. Where's that guy? Slow down. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. What do you want? Yeah, I want to fight. Let's go. It's not a fight, it's a race. But I'm gonna win this time. He's always just a little bit ahead of me. There we go. Got him. Uh, well, I am a god. I'm fast. Alright. Let's take a look at her beads. A god of forest. Huh. <laughs> Cat. It looks like we should be able to get all the ones there if we haven't already. Oh, they're missing only two of them. Okay. That's not so bad. It's probably no different running over there than it is to uh, use the mermaid coin. Oh shit, Kushi. I need to activate that too. Kushi's one of my favorites because her name is Kush. <laughs> okay, that's not really true. Uh, I like her. Her hair looks like a comb and she's got rice on her kimono. It's very cute. I love the different character designs in this game. Especially the ones that are like Mr. Orange and... Uh, you got Nameless Man, <laughs> and he's just like a generic NPC guy. And of course there's more fully fleshed out co characters, you know, Kakari's just a kid. With his dog. Gotta love that. A man and his friend. There's some characters that come up later that I really like too. Even the evil ones. Mmm. Let's see here. Mm. Up here? Oh shit, check it out. There's something here I didn't even see. this area. Got another one. This is looking pretty good with all the beads filling in. Missing three there. Those three. Oh my gosh, I missed all three of those from the, what you call it, uh, the dungeon here in the ruins. I was really tired when I did that one, but, you know, that's no excuse for being a poor gamer and not 100%ing everything. This does suck because I will have to backtrack a little bit throughout here, but I will be able to zoom around a little easier too. Let's see. Let's go over here. There's one in this first room.
Whoa, I'm a bit fast. I don't know how I didn't notice this last time. Is it not that one? Is it perhaps this one? Wow. Oh shit, I was right. Whoa, look at stretched out Amaterasu. <laughs> She's lanky like a string bean. Right, let me just scour my brain for the information I need. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I know. I'm doing the big brain plays and I'm not explaining. Well, I wish I understood this dungeon a little better. is this room. Okay. Perfect. I need to be here too. Is there a way to get up there easier? No. Why would there be? Get on the mushroom. Somewhere up here. Is there a cracked wall here? Oh, you know what? I bet it means in here. Ah ha ha ha. Found a secret. Alright, one more here. Let's go find it. Let me check the map. We have the full map. Hold on. The first floor. Where I'm at. Okay. Alright, and then I think. The next one's going to be... I think it is anyway. I think it's going to be over in this area. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go.
Where's the thing for me? There's the thing for me. Now, if I was a bead... I would be in this bud. Got that good bud, you know. And that means we got all of those. Suta. Alright. And then the Taka Pass ones, I can't do all of them yet. And then there's the Kusa Village. Let's see, what does it say? Looks like I'm going to need to do a little bit of stuff later. In a chest. Do I have that one? Sasa, I have one, two, but I'm missing three. Okay. We'll go there next then. Let's leave this place. The only other thing I could think that would be in here is I think there's a clover I haven't bloomed yet. Which, you know, that's praise I'm missing out on, but at the same time, is it that big of a miss? Since clovers don't always give a whole lot. You know, it adds up. And I guess if I am going to be 100% completionist about it. I'd want every clover. Alright, so Sasa Sanctuary. That's where all the birds live. Not the regular birds, the bird people. There's a difference. Boing. Can't wait for our next story thing. We're gonna do the Gale Shrine. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gaming. Thursday night gaming. Gotta lean back in the chair. It's getting real. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if you saw this place last time, because, uh... I don't think really anybody watched the last stream live, but I love this place. Just look at it. A cozy inn with a hot spring. I mean, Amaterasu doesn't care. <laughs> Let's see, so my cheat sheet here says Sasa Sanctuary, back of the bamboo forest. Okay. Into the bamboo forest we go. Yeah. 
I think this is one of my favorite areas in the game. I love this bamboo forest. Looking for a chest. Anywhere. Anywhere a chest. Did I feed these you? I didn't feed you. Eat my meat. Beat my meat. You can't beat my meat. What's up, Mr. Bamboo? I also give thanks for such things. It's nice. I'm gonna bite the tiger. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> but there's gotta be one around here somewhere. Is it in this little cubby? Did I miss it last time? I mean, it is daylight. Can I make it night? Oh look, there's treasures. Got him. Yes, I see now. It's not the kind of chest that has a handle poking out. So, of course I didn't see it. Another golden peach? I have two of those, and my pouch is already full, and I haven't died once. Oh, uh, you know what I didn't do? Didn't talk to Kushi. I was supposed to talk to Kushi. Treasure. Okay, don't lose focus. Kushi. And then I think we're pretty much caught up on bead collection for now. Isn't there a man? Yeah, there's a merchant here. Got one, two. I'll get one more of those. I have a feeling I'm gonna need another one of those. One of those. Got a lot of the steel soul and steel fist. Oh. Catching it with skill and the greatest of ease. I love that animation. The fact that they do that. Got him. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Yes. They have such skill. These birds are awesome. I'd want to party with them. Should probably save. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. I thought collecting beads would take me a bit longer. Okay, 
Kushi. Let's use the mermaid spring then. Didn't mean to do that. Can I use it? Thank you. Okay, and from here, just right around the corner. I have a feeling in the next couple streams of Okami, we'll get to see Orochi. Yeah, you haven't gotten far. I saw you a half hour ago and you were still standing there. How are you going to carry the rest of the way? I might not look it, but I'm quite tough. Brewing sake is my life. If I can't manage on my own, where will I be? I'll keep my mouth shut. Yeah, you go, girl. <gasps> she got me a bone. Ooh, and it's a big bone completely restores my energy. You sure? I mean, I could try. <laughs> I could bite her. Pull her away from it. <laughs> Alright, good luck with that, Kushi. I'll see you on the night of the festival. Now to throw another coin back in. Taka or Sasa? Uh, Taka. enough yeah I have enough yen to buy the other uh, disc forget what they call them because you got the beads you have glaives and then you have oh they're re reflectors that's what they're called Okay, and then hmm. oh, not what I meant. That one. Okay. Now it is time. We've got our orbs. Let's go see the princess.
Look at these dogs. They have it made. And bug. Yeah, he's not a bug. There's something different about them. Do you bring the word of their condition or whereabouts? Well, about that. Uh, we found them. And they said no. They won't be coming back. But they gave us the orbs. Maybe they had a fateful encounter during their journey. Princess Fuse looks like she has cat ears. And I love that. Perhaps strong bonds that cannot be broken have been forged. If they are to live apart from the house, I have but one wish. Wish them to protect the peace under their new master, for that is the role they were meant to fill. That's nice. At any rate, we have all the orbs. I must get to the shrine. You must or I must? Oh, this is sick. I'm the new master. Yeah, because I'm a god. Yeah, they picked me. I look pretty cool. I've got all the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Bite her? Okay, I'm going back. For you, Psycho, I'll bite the princess. <laughs> it's what the orbs would have wanted anyway. go back here to the shrine Gale shrine I'm faster than my orbs hold up another incense burner And a clover. It's my lucky day. And monkeys. Oh my god, this day couldn't get any better. was a man there. I didn't know that was a move. What the? Okay, here, it's Susano again. this guy. I don't know what's with him. How is it you can see me? I'm Yatsu, the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Long has it been since any have ventured this way. 
My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. I wonder what he thinks about me. You appear to be a maiden most fair. Ooh, thank you. What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. Crimson Helm? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know about him. Fair Maiden? He talking about you, Furball? Yeah. I'm a lady. I'm gonna kill Isun. <laughs> it appears the Maiden is accompanied by a little booger. <laughs> is the village to meet its end at last? <laughs> he better not be talking about me. Hey, he saw it with his inner eye, okay? It's the truth. He's been meditating alone at the shrine's entrance. But his sleep is filled with nightmares that make him cry out. I pity the poor man and would like to render what service I could. But when I try to peer into his dreams, an evil force bars my way. Who is this strange man? Well, that's Psycho Mantis. Susano said something about being possessed. And he's been acting all weird like that time he helped Kushi. What's this? I sense an intense power. It envelops your body. Could it be the Satomi power orbs? Fair Maiden, the orbs would only choose the one who is our savior. The eight colors of light are living proof of that. Well... You may pass. Thank you. Beware, fair maiden. Crimson Helm is a terrible foe. It is said that when the eight-headed serpent was slain a hundred years ago, Crimson Helm emerged from a blood of the beast a pool of the beast blood. Not a blood of pool. That doesn't make any sense. Never let your guard down. Here he comes. Wait, wait, wait. The door to the Gale Shrine is open? Aw, oh, hell yeah. I must have finally communed with the gods. The time has come, foul spirit. Now I shall reveal your true form. We probably should go stop him, right? Right? Is not life dear to that man? Beware, fair maiden. Never let your guard down. Now stop trying to freak us out. I'm not scared. Are you scared? I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? Looks like a normal, everyday shrine. You know, it's got the arch. It's got the shrine. All the things that make it a shrine. What's over here? Demon Gate. I'll take you on. Uh oh. This is a new enemy. Monkey. He's got two sets of eyes. Can you stop with that? Ooh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, oh god. Ooh, get him. Kill him.
Meow. Oh, good, good, good. Die. You guys want to see how big brain I am? Hold on. I can do it. Found the bead! Oh shit! A rat! We have to feed those. Got so much praise from the rats. Look, praise me, rats. Praise your god. This is your god. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I got a bunny. And I think that's everything down here. All right, now we'll actually use the elevator. What's in here? A blue one? Let's go. Can you can you eat that? That's right. I pissed on him. here and fight me like a man. I'm taking a piss. Is it another key? It's another key. All right. And we Good thing there's no fall damage. Oh, is this for you? I feel nothing for that lock. We're up really high.
You can see my house from here. One big window. It's like wind, but it's dank. Mm, probably like this. Just like that. All done. Oh shit. Hell yeah. We did it, gamers. I mean, what else would it be? It's a funny horse. Faster than the wind. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. For too long. I have walked a shadowed path. At last, light shines upon me. Use my power to manipulate the wind. Banish those who would seek to shroud this world in darkness. You got it. I will use this wind only for good and pure deeds. Just draw the mark of Kazagami to create wind. Make it spin. Hold on. I'm really bad at this. do that I just want to take a peek look at all that low textured land but yeah we're up really high that's the guardian sapling all the way over there damn oh hold on I want up here A treasure. Come on, gang. Let's look for some treasures. Yeah, buddy.
you sure have bet right. If I can actually hit the chest, that'd be cool. Alright. I'm still on fire. Okay, it's out. still have a chest here. It was a bead! Alright, I think that's it for the beads here. There's one later, but uh, we're a little ways away from that. even anything over here? Just some pots. Alright. Hmm. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Toward the windmill. You got it. You want one of these. Brush tips. We should probably take a look. Travel guide. The holy smoke, yes, I'm very aware of that. You can draw thicker lines than usual with triangle. Smaller cherry bombs appear further away and while drawn much larger appear closer. Gailstorm's power is directly affected by the drawing of size. The size does not affect the amount of ink consumed. Good to know. So you're telling me I can do this? Ooh, spooky. I'm getting so many brush techniques. And not try to screw this up. Give it. Okay. You're gonna be like that, huh? Are you for real? Oh, there it was. Not right now, Eason. I'm in the middle of something. I'm trying to get my treasure. chest down there too. Ah. 
Ah, almost fell off. Kuma Bear! I'm gonna have to climb up here again anyway, so why don't we go ahead and just grab this one? Yoink. Spider wolf, spider wolf, does whatever a spider wolf. Oh shit, rat? Look at him go! Wow. Nature is healing. I feel like I never use the sake. Maybe I should. Alright, I'm gonna totally fuck this up because I already feel it in my bones. Okay, cool. We made it. Before I go in there. More rats! I'm making bank on the praise with these guys. <laughs> mm. Ah, sorry. This drink is very bubbly. Gale Shrine. Deep. This looks nice. Oh, I really don't want to have hiccups. I think I did it. I think I swallowed it down. It's the song. <laughs> Looks like a berry or something. It does. Looks like grapes. That is the serpent crystal for dispelling Orochi's barrier. You know. The item that walker guy was looking for. Yeah, I know. We found it before he did. You know who else is here? Crimson Helm. It must be Crimson Helm. Hehe. <laughs> it really does look like one mean dude. Better psych yourself up for this one, Furball. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Let's game. <gasps> the Chaos Emeralds. This song rips.
so intense. can't hit him. He's too powerful. Can I throw on one of these? Should I pee on him? I'm gonna pee on him. Come on, man. Ooh, he's on fire. Oh my god, stop. Powerful. He's breaking my orbs. There it is. Money shot. Can I get him? No, don't put it back on. Oh, got him. Huh? Is he chickening out? After him. <gasps> it's him. Susano. Back you, Kurt. I'll handle this one. How did you even get over here? What the heck's he doing? He's gonna get sliced and diced. Top it off. Wind power. I got you, buddy. I like how Crimson Helm is just gonna wait. Behold the secret technique. Wind of Wrath. Oh my god, he split them in pieces. Look at that skill! Now I'm positive. This is not my doing. Yeah, it was my doing. It's the gods. They toy with me. Will you never stop mocking me? Is it a burden? Really? 
All I wish is to live in peace. Do you enjoy dogging my every step? <laughs> dog. You okay, Pops? Blast you gods. I don't want your power. This whole world can fall to ruin as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. Susano, don't say that. You don't mean that. What the heck's that? What do you mean? It's a rochi head. Go away. That voice. One after the other. You're driving me crazy. Oh my god, he's going insane. I don't know, but I got some beads. Rosary that draws upon pure life energy to destroy evil. Well, that's nice. Huh? huh? Bonjour. Um, am I interrupting something? Oh, brother. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> That's, yes, the forbidden fruit, the serpent crystal, and it's mine at last. You got a lot of nerve muscling in on our goods like that. Yeah, that was mine. I fought the Crimson Helm. I helped Susano win. I watched him have a mental breakdown. That's mine. It won't do you any good. I mean... I'm the only one who can dispel the barrier with it. You know, the barrier at the moon cave? Rochi's stronghold? The poison? Cusco's poison? The poison for Cusco? Mm -hmm. You calling me big boy? Keep your scales on, I'm coming. He's talking to a Rochi. Is he one of Orochi's henchmen? Why are you going over to Orochi's place? Oh, I almost forgot. Time for another prophecy. I foresee a rendezvous with a sweet little thing. Au revoir, baby. Bye, bitch. I wonder if our friend Megu knows that there's a French man in this. Dispel the barrier at the moon cave? What the heck is he up to? This is no time for your victory, Hal Furball. I'm gonna do it anyway. on that fight. Nice. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Oh, they're all waiting for us. Oh, you're also here, Yatsu? I guess you are. In Princess Fuse, last of the Satomi House, you have done well. What? Do you know Princess Fuse? Indeed I do, for I was her husband and head priest of the shrine. 
My lingering fears about Kusa Village kept my spirit here. But thanks to you, I can now travel to the great beyond. Princess Fuse and the Canine Warriors still have much to learn. But I have no doubt they will prosper. I shall watch over them. Farewell. I shall pray for your good health and prosperity. Thanks, Yatsu. Goodbye, dead man. What is it, you two? What were you looking at? Oh, you know. Your dead husband. Anyway, princess, there's no need to thank us. I have been rather feeble since the last head priest perished. But as head priestess, I shall now dedicate my life to the shrine while keeping the remaining five canine warriors in line. That's the spirit. You punish those dogs. Tell them no treats. Aw, our doggy friends that we left behind. They were rooting for us, too. Is there anything on this side? A rock? And it's not even a rock I can cut. Well, that didn't take long at all. What there for a ball? Okay, yeah. what's our next step? I'm too young to die. You're also very small. I bet Nagi was the stronger one. Or was it the sake? Yeah, it's probably the sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what did it. The legendary sake is back in that village, isn't it? And isn't it about time for that village's annual festival? So let's go see if we can get a taste of that special brew. It just might do us some good. If I could get Sakuya a little tipsy, then maybe. <laughs> uh, she's a spirit? I'm not entirely sure she can get drunk. Isun wants to fondle those peaches, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, but now we have our wind technique. We can do wind things. Excuse me, chickens. I have important matters to attend to. Meaning, I need to do this, and I'm not gonna fail, right? Right. Well, shit. <laughs> Guess we have to go back. Before I do, though. Anyway... They're gonna gossip. Where's that little kid? There she is. I love little doggy. The windmill's turning again. You're right. The fountain is still all dry. I wonder what it needs. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Aw, oh, she's happy. Aw, oh, she's happy. She's not like those damn adults that are just like, Ugh, nothing ever goes right. <sighs> now I have to go and do that kite jump thing again. 
think this one's probably the harder one since uh, the platforms are a lot thinner and I'm a very big dog. Nailed it. There's a chicken up here. Alright. Ooh, and there's a blockhead up here. Is that what that was? Oh no. My eyes are playing tricks on me. It's a solar fragment. I don't have any tools I need to sell. I think we're gonna end up walking back to Kaniki, since now we can blow a lot of those leaf piles around. My brain is not so good at remembering where all of them were, though. And now I get to do more jumping. <laughs> Those foxes were holding on. I love all the hearts that are popping up. <laughs> Yeah, let's dig. It is quite simple. I just need a refresher on how my moves work. Mm -hmm. I have water spout. Slashes go back, bloom is fast, and wind is leap. Got it.
pizza down here, sir. Doubt. And he won't be able to climb back up. I better take a sneak peek. a really long section. Alright, so it must be somewhere in this area. I guess it's probably all the way in that corner. I'm just gonna let the timer run out. What'll it be? I guess retry, but I don't know. I don't know if I have enough ink to make this happen. Come on. Up. Why did you go that way, you dummy? You dumbass. That way. I can't get him to go the way I want. hit it again. Why do I even bother? So probably the move would be to do this. It's fine. Literally doesn't even matter. Come on, asshole, get up. He's being a dummy again. Get him closer. Come on.
He's gonna go back down. Come on, buddy. Let's go. What did we get? But what is it? I don't know what we've gone and dug up here, Pooch. Maybe there's something wrong with my pendulum. That passion you have for digging holes is a pleasure to behold. You can have this piece of junk. That's not junk. I wanted that. Let's go test out my new rosary, shall we? <clears throat> I'm gonna make mad money. Looking for all the leaf piles. I don't remember if there was anything else down here. Better check. A dog I haven't fed. That's the one that I keep hearing. was a stray bead. Beautiful. Oh yeah, the horse like the herb. I 
was in the middle of something. Let me piss on you, please. There's lots of leaf piles. We're gonna have so many treasures. Something tells me that there's still more leaf piles that I'm missing. Specifically, a leaf pile that may have a stray bead. I can't believe I walked right by it without grabbing it. Let's take a look at our stray bead list. Alright, so that one's gonna take a bit. And then that first one in Kusa... Is that what that is? Man, I gotta run back up there again. Man! Why couldn't she just give me the bead herself?
All right. We're looking pretty good on that. Uh, do I want another solar energy? I think I'm going to wait for another ink pot. Can't catch me. Oh, <laughs> I had a feeling that was the one I opened. miss that smell. What smell? The smell of the wind or the smell of my wind? Oh, I definitely didn't do this one. I'm feeling pretty good about the amount of beads that we have now. Oh, right. Herb. Bunnies don't eat seeds. My phone keeps going off, but it's nothing important. Why must it tease me? Just gonna take a quick run around here. I cannot remember if there were leaf piles in any specific spot. Green bird. He round and funny looking like avocado. Is that a bee's nest? I mean, I assume I could give that to Sleepy. And that's what it's for. Oh, 
Oh, now I want him. Oh, it's rolling back. Oh, it's rolling back. Get back up there. Don't do that. Hold up. Oh, come on. <laughs> Work with me here. Gotta get it head on. There we go. It has a funny little roll to it. Eh. That way. Eh. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh oh. Come on. Slow and steady. I keep pushing it into places I don't mean to. Here we are. The final stretch. Hey, look, a leaf pile. I'm always too quick, and I can hear it rolling. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hurry up, hurry up. my face in the right position. If it falls, I might cry. Get it against the rock. That I can do. Look at it wiggle. It's moving. Okay. A little bit more like this. I'm really scared. Thing moves so funny. Stop. It's literally taking me a whole day night cycle to do this. Look, it just moves on its own. It's got a mind of its own. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. We're not going to get past this rock, are we? <gasps> no! My beehive. It fell. Of course, I can push it here just fine. Come on. A little more. This 
the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Oh my god. I beat Crimson Helm like it was nobody's business. I kicked the asses of all those imps. And yet, I can't roll this beehive up a hill for the sleepy Kuma bear. Yeah, that's what I expected. Oh, I can't even see him. Alright, me and this ball are going up this hill. Look, it even wants out. Okay. Get my camera in the right spot. Trying to catch it with my wolfy body. No. No. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 oh my god, get over here, it scares me every time it gets close to the ledge, okay, It doesn't even blow it. Why do I even try? And there it goes. Come on, baby. That bear is waiting for you on the top of this hill. We have to bring you there. He's gonna love it. his life. Oh. There are other mini games. There are other side quests. I can't spend all day on the bumblebee nest. Just gently nudge. There we go. Holy shit. Hell yeah, Kuma Bear. Look at him. Did he finally open his eyes? Guess he really likes this sphere. Whew, that was an ordeal. Look at him. He's still going ham. I 
I just can't tell what kind of sphere he likes the best. Uh, that one. Because it was the hardest one to get. Do you hear that? It doesn't sound like the normal Shinshu field theme. storm, you say. Yeah, the sky's all fucky-wucky. You probably shouldn't breathe in this air. It's, it's bad for your lungs. Can't we have the happy, cheery music? No? Not allowed? Are there more piles to blow? I'll blow just about anything as long as I make a quick buck. Okay, don't take that one out of context. Doesn't the weird sky bother you? Today's the Kamiki Festival, but that won't stop the rain, huh? If I wasn't so busy working, I'd be curled up at home right now. What's up, buddy? Um, yes, I need to sell. I need to buy more seeds, more herb, more meat. I don't think I need fish right now, though. I'll take a couple of those. Uh, I don't remember if there was anything left to learn at the dojo, so I'm gonna go check. A burning leaf pile, huh? I have just the cure. Godly charm. Very nice. Get me in there. I have nothing left to teach you. Okay. Just make it sure. We'll save when we get into Kamiki. Let's find out what's going on. I'm literally right outside the loading zone. And it's a full moon. Come to think of it, 
Yeah, it's festival time. Let's go to the festival. That music isn't very promising. I was gonna save. What's going on? What's everyone doing in front of Susana's place? You come out here this instant. You have some explaining to do. Oh? How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Konohana? Wait, what? Susano did what? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. We're just gonna slowly maim you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. He drank all of it? Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Well, it wasn't any old sake, and this isn't any old festival. And it's not a regular time of year. How could you have done such a despicable thing? I almost said despicable me. <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't care about Nagi and his flea bag friend. I'm Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And he's drunk off his ass. There's no sake left? Susano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. Oh, so after he was in Kusa? Okay. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sake's gone. I could cry. Why do you have to go and do that? I mean, that's the sake. Sake of legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. And everybody's like, what? Return of Orochi? What? The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. That's right, you fool. You tell him, Mr. Orange. Do you realize what a fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. <gasps> I have brought utter destruction upon the world. What is he talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. I wanted to prove it was all a lie by removing the sword Tsukiyomi. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. It's all your fault! It's all your fault! This is madness. You removed the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. Then, I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there, but the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. Susano, why'd you do it? Not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. I know that Tsukiyomi was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what you're saying is true, that would mean... Orochi was on the phone the whole time. Oh, his rite of sacrifice. Uh-oh. Wake up, Hayabusa. Shit's about to go down. The 
eight heads of Orochi. Mushi! Hayabusa did it. He saved him. That was why he stayed behind. On the eve of the full moon, the eight-headed serpent shall appear, and the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. We're reliving this dreaded past. If we don't offer the Chosen Maiden a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. Kushi. Kushi. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. Tell him, sister. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I don't know you'll come. Wait. You're not going to. Oh, she's gonna. She's going. She's going to see Orochi. Also, check her out in that white robe. You can see through her robe. <laughs> Behold my thunder, brew. The great Nagi intoxicated Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life. Surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Even if we don't have the eight purification sake. Wait, Kushi! Come back! She's not going to take on Orochi herself, is she? What are you doing, Mr. Orange? You're an old man! Time for Susano to man up! Grow a pair! Kushi's in danger! And it's all your fault! God, I love that scene. Susano telling the truth about what happened. The culmination of everything leading up to the festival now being a sacrifice. Kushi and her brew. Shit's getting real. I'm gonna go talk to Mushi. Oh. Oh. Hayabusa saved him. You saved my life. Is that why you were sitting there the whole time? Were you waiting to push me out of the way of that arrow? I had no idea. I've treated you so bad lately. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Hayabusa. Oh, oh. Like, legit, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this game makes me feel certain ways. And Susano's just gonna sit here and be a dumbass. Where's that Mr. Brave face of yours you always put on? Get out here, you asshole. He's not coming. I have to go. I have to help Kushi. There she is. Kushi, don't go. Don't try to stop me, Isu. Or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Mi Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? It's for shits and giggles. 
I'm going to use my sake to rid us of this evil menace. I don't think sake is going to be enough. That attitude's going to get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? Yes, Ethan. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My sake is the only answer. I'm going, and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. Yeah, you tell him. I'm taking you with me. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. I'm a god, in case you forgot. I kind of slew Orochi before. Let's go, Kushi. You and me, babe. We will go. And we will fight! Oh shit, it's Mika? Kushi, what on earth are you doing? This is no night to be wandering about outside. Uh, if you couldn't tell, this is the sacrificial maiden? Orochi wants to vor her? Waka better be here with that serpent crystal. I knew you'd come, Amaterasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. What he about to do, though? Whoa. The funny purple snakes impregnated the crystal. Well, moon cave's open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. To you? I don't know if I trust you. My controller's rumbling like hell. Oh, fuck. Kushi! Hey, yo, wait. What the fuck? meaning? Mm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. <laughs> I love Amaterasu scratching at it, being the, a dog. <laughs> I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. <laughs> Looks like we've been set up again. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Mashiri? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. 
Look! The moon! The moon! The moon came out. Good one, Waka. I will go on. Guess we're stuck here. Yeah, we're gonna take on Orochi anyway. Let's go check the place out. Susano? Susano? Alright, let's go take on that dreaded Orochi. Although, uh, some of the stairs are missing. This is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. Leap before you think. Guts? No, 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 no. I'll just do it. Thank God for no fall damage. What have we gotten ourselves into this time? That imp is talking to me. Fixing for a fight, you chumps. With bit players like you. Ooh. Why, you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah. Look at that foolish mug. He's gotta be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. Hey. And to stray so far into a place like this? You're not too bright, are you, champ? Hey! I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Ah, oh, thank you. Good snacky. Anyway, we're here in the Milky Caverns. <gasps> the sake! We got it. Fragrant sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skill. Not sure it'll be enough for Orochi, but we've got some. Can't do anything with fire yet. But I will make a mental note for later. Didn't even cut the other jar. Piece of shit. Let's go. Oh no. He has an even smaller drum.
piss and eat shit. And die. Um. That's not a mask. I've seen a mask. Imp's face covering. Wear it to be accepted as their own. This is one of those masks those imps wear. This one's so plain. No design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, furball. I'm gonna spiff it up a bit. Alright, we can't draw a dick. We can't draw anything suggestive. What do I draw? What do we think? Could go for this classic. What do you think? Do you like it? No. Um, what if we gave it like Hmm. I know. Giant eye. And then... Oh. That looks hilarious. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna draw again. You sure are picky. What else? What else would be fun? Let's do long eyes. And then... Looks a little lopsided. Oh, I know what I must do. It's hard to do it with a controller, but we're gonna try our best. It got cut off, didn't it? Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's me. Um, it's a Rasu. I do like it. We're gonna go with this one. I'm one mean looking imp. But hey, we can't fool around. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. Orochi's gonna take a little cushy and. Mm, I can't bear to think about it. Yeah, he's gonna do some really bad, unspeakable things to Kushi. But now we look like an imp. Just thought I would check around, make sure there wasn't anything else. Whoa. I'm inside it. It's not real. Oh, what's this? Is that your boji woji? <laughs> Alright, let's show these guys what I've got. What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? Oh. There was that silly looking wolf a while back. But nothing else out of the ordinary. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now. 
Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the Great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help! Oh, uh, okay. They don't even realize that I'm that stupid wolf. <laughs> Bunch of amateurs. Alright, we're here. We're in the moon cave. Should probably update my uh ba -ba -ba -ba. where is it? Update the title of the stream. Wake up, Amaterasu. We're not done yet. Kitchen? What a foul stench. What the heck are they making in there? Cushy stew. Oh, and there's fried lizards. Maybe he's in the big pot. What a convenient save spot. Alright, before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and help open up the pot. You know, they couldn't have done this without me. Oh shit. That's not Kushi stew. Hot stuff coming through. Hey sweetheart, yeah you. Get me out of here before I end up well done. Phew. That was a close one, darling. Oh, you're gonna talk like that. Okay. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can just call me a genie. The head chef. I was cooking with such tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving old care? What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Say, uh, how would you like to be my assistant? Assistant? Oh, well, no, I... I have to whip up a lip-smacking appetizer to whet Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. Orochi civilized enough to have courses? Please. I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait, uh, we, uh, didn't come here to help you, you see. Uh, we're the good guys, or, uh, the bad guys. Whatever way you want to think about it. Run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I run out of my secret ingredients. I could finish up without them, but then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, fruitcake. Okay. Now you're just saying that he's gay. Okay, yeah, and he's gonna run with it. There are four secret ingredients. Okay. Pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Ogre liver. Lips of ice. Eyeball of fire. Black demon horn. Okay then, counting on you. Those don't sound yummy at all. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. Key for me? Key for me. 
Now, where does the key go? Maybe it goes right here. Watch your step. If you don't like the locks? I think they're hilarious. I love that when you look at them normally, they're just like, yeah, you can't do anything about this. And then when you bring the key over, they're like, fuck, shit, shit. Oh, this will be fun. cheat it and go a little further, right? Right? Nice. That's what we like to see. Now this guy is done. I don't like that he has a foot. Call Morg. Get him on the phone. This guy has a foot. Can you guys, like, get closer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Thank you. Is it the ogre liver? Time to take up his. Yep, that's Ogre Liver. You think that's what Shrek's liver looks like? Okay, that's all that was in this room. Now I have to go back. Watch that skill. Oh, wrong way. Oh, now there's water in there. It's gonna get on my mask. and break all the pots. Can't believe they're making me make Orochi's food for him. Mm, I don't have a reason to go over there. Let me go check what's over here first. 
trust a key door. Psycho's your favorite. Look at him. He's happy to see you. He's breathing. Yeah, there's ice in front of this door. What would I even do? Oh shit? I'm dead? Oh, I'm not dead yet. Making all the money. That's a nice chunk of praise. Party time. Can I go in there? Oh, I can. All right. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I already did this. Don't you realize we're just cogs in the machine? Now be a good little cog and stick what you're supposed to do. Nah. I'm a free-thinking cog. I didn't drink the coffee. The shadow coffee. Alright, let's go. You and me, buddy. Countered. I got three fangs out of him. Holy shit. You're just a cog in the machine. Come on now. Orochi doesn't take fools lightly. He'll kill you. Secret? I'm gonna break these rocks. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so far I only have liver. Oh look, one of those bouncy flowers. I think that just takes me up to the second floor again, though. Which we don't have a key for that one door. What's up, buddy? Now that the water below has receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel a weak in the knees. The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if I don't keep a firm grip on this crank here. So you better not disturb me. Got it? I won't disturb you. I'm just trying to poke him in the face. No, 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 no. You're good. You got this, buddy. No, no, no. Let it go. No, no. We're not there yet. Hold on. Hey, what's up? He 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 he. I guard the door here. Boy, I just love this shop. It makes life worth living. 
I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. Really, this is your only joy in life? That's kind of sad. I guess they live in a society. Oh my god, there's four feet? I love that you can chop all these down. over here. I'm just looking for treasure. Another bone! I have not had to use a healing item the whole time we've been playing. I have nine of those. I think maybe I used one once. And that was it. Hold up, I'm gonna get them. Nope, I gotta get all four of them. Maybe if I stand right here, that'll work. Nope, not enough. I'm trying to get them lined up. Yes! Now that's what I'm talking about. So he guards this door? Does he even know what the door leads to? He's just the cog in the machine? What's with this ice statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. No ordinary chill. It's kind of a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. No way. Oh dear god. That's lips on wheels. Is this your favorite enemy, Psycho? What that mouth do? Uh, that mouth breathe cold air. Right onto your flaccid cock. Whoa, what's this? This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Bowl. Oh, whoa. What's this? It's a smoking bird. That's pretty cool. What he's smoking, though. That hot fire. His pipe is lit. Sealed away by the dark forces, I have spent years in this cave. 
Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Moagami, God of Flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscuring darkness. So basically, I'm lit as fuck. Never expected to find a brush god here. Most fearsome of all the brush gods? I don't know, man. There's some pretty scary brush techniques, like the slash one. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno. But actions speak louder than words. So do it. You got it. That's one hot tech. It'll make crispy critters out of the snake's underlings. You got that right. So now we have firepower. We've got a lot of brush techniques already, and this is only the first part of the game. Fire. Another infinity stone. Very nice. I do like having infinity stone. It's been so long since anyone stopped by. Well, I mean, nobody was gonna come through there, and nobody was gonna come from above. You've been standing here this whole time? Let's crank this thing on up. Wee! Atta boy. Oh, well. Work it. How far down are we? Thank you, sir. Oh, sick. Time for murder. You guys ready? Those lips are dead. Yo! Ew! Lips of ice. Chewy lips. Used as an ingredient in Orochi's appetizer. It makes me think of that Why Does Kids You Know skit. One where they're stuck on a deserted island and it's like, we have to eat a another part of ourselves, otherwise we're gonna die. We're gonna starve here. It's like, I, we'll have to be cannibals, but like, what part do you eat? And they think about it, and then it's, well, I guess your lips are pretty easy to eat, right? Yeah, I mean, they're like little fleshy and they're chewy, but you could rip lips off of somebody, right? That would work. And so then they go in for a kiss, and then a guy on the boat comes by and he says the F-A-G word. And he doesn't... he doesn't even pick them up. He lets them be gay on the island. 
We have that firepower now. I can do the thing over here. I was hoping I could just jump high, but it's a bit too high. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, whoa, what's this? Exorcism. I'm gonna use a few of those on an Orochi. Kick his ass. Should I talk to a genie again? I have his lips and his liver. At the very least, I want to save. Gave him the liver and the lips, so there's two more left. My love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Good for you. Glad somebody likes him. We can melt this ice. That's not lit. Where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. And who wouldn't? What's taking so long? Should have been ready by now. Lord Orochi's going to chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those darn cooks doing? Don't read the... I'm sorry, the what? The Epicurean bell? You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer is ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's rung before that. Okay. I won't do it. I'll think about it, though. Yes, the bridge that broke. Whoops. Who was it that broke this bridge again? Well, you are heavier than you look. Hey. Why don't you think about going on a diet first? I'm going to throw Isun off a cliff at this rate. Talking. Eyeball on the wheel. With lots of little eyeballs. Perfect. That's fine. He's dead too. Ew. Eyeball of fire. 
succulent eye. That's gross. I like that Orochi just has rooms for you to battle monsters in. There's no real reason for it. They're just here. That's for me. I'll have to come back. a roach you no doubt sounds like he's hungry I hope he didn't eat kushi either I'm in the middle of getting his appetizer ready here it is psycho your favorite I'll even wait a moment look at him he's like <laughs> Now what that mouth do? Oh good, more rolling mini games. My favorite. Oh, I can't roll it. It's too heavy. Wind. I see. Why is there a clover here? What's up with that, Orochi? Don't play with the ball. That's what it says. But I want to play with the ball. Can I headbutt it? Okay. So it's just really heavy. Hold that back. Oh. oh, it's not going the right way, and down it goes. There we go. 
I turned the balls on. The fireballs. Which means... Which means I can do this. And then that other spot from before where the, what you call it, where we fought the eyeball. Wait, a treasure. No, I don't care. Get me out of there. Ooh, I got Kutami pottery. Dish that is elegant in design and features beautiful etchings. Alright, so that was this one, right? Large exorcism slip, those are expansive. Steel fist sake. If I had to guess, is it steel soul sake? Oh nope, it's a bullhorn. Here for a snack or something during your break? Well, take a pick. Just don't try to sift me. Uh, not at the moment. Hold on. First, we're gonna do a little trolling. You sure take a lot of breaks. Yeah, I do. You got a problem with that? He doesn't even have anything good. Like, what am I gonna do, do with all the other vengeance and exorcism slips, plus all these sake that I already have? What am I gonna do with that? Alright, so we went through there. And now the next would be up a floor oh I got you I got you there we go oh nope not what I meant that's hilarious. Did you see that? Let's do that again. I'll do it to this one. Maybe. <laughs> A tongue comes poking out of it. It's 
see it up close. Do it. That's awesome. I love that little attention to detail stuff. What does this say? Don't do it. It's out of order. I want to do just the opposite when I see a sign like this. Yeah, you want to just do it? What are we blowing up? Maybe that wall over there? Oh, it's timed. So I gotta do it early. Got it. Did it. There's a bunch of rubble everywhere. Mmm, yes, feed me. Feed me, Seymour. Fireball. Something tells me I can't touch it. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh, nope, it worked. Give it. Give me bone. Breaking all your pots. This must be the last ingredient. Ingredients. Hey, stop. Why you do that? Black demon horn. Queens. That means we have all the stuff for our appetizer. I think that was all that was in here. Okay. Let's go deliver our goodies. Fell all the way down there. 
Another tree for me. Another peach. We've got a lot of money. Making bank over here. Flaming Eye and the Demon Horn. With each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi deepens. Now we have all the ingredients. Time to finish off my special dish. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Yeah, this dude's making me hungry. I mean, it's monster parts, but I am hungry. That doesn't look too good, though. Ta-da! Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers, guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Dung Heap Slime Bucket Goulash. Yeah, I take back what I said. I'm not hungry. The main course, Kushi. It's gonna make her taste a thousand times better. Mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean bell. That shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Okay, well, I'm gonna save... I think we're about to do this. We're gonna go take on Orochi. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, before we do, though, I really gotta use the bathroom. So, where's my... where? Oh. Yep, you can tell I'm using my mouse because uh, shit's all fucky-wucky when I use the mouse. Alright, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Really needed to use the bathroom, but now we're good. Uh, still need a little more for more ink. I 
I think we're pretty good. We're all souped up and ready for Orochi time. <laughs> soup. Alright, let's go ring the bell. At last, the meal's ready. Let it ring as many times as Lord Orochi has heads. But seeing how you've been just itching to ring it all this time, I'll let you do the honors. Put your wicked body and evil soul into it. Make it ring out with wild abandon. Uh, guys? How many heads does Orochi have? If only there was like a hint to how many heads Orochi would have. If only I knew how many heads Orochi had. Hmm. Well, I guess that's the end game. I don't know. Just kidding. It's eight. If I can hit it. Final ring of the bell. It is time. Take me with them. That sure was stressful. I wish I hadn't seen Lord Orochi's throne room. Sorry, pal, but, uh, would you mind taking this elevator to that throne room again? You insane. Oh, come on, please. I mean, look at my cute face. I'm o-wo-tastic. I want to take a peek at the room. Come on. We're just Lord Orochi's lowly unlearns. Lord Orochi will surely gobble us up if we barge in during dinner. You really want to see the throne room that bad? Really want to go? Yeah. We're going. I was born to operate this elevator. So, like, are imps born? Do they have relationships like that? They sexually reproduce? I didn't know monsters could do that. They have monster junk. Oh look. This appetizer reeks. I like that the merchant is also up here. What do you want in a place like this? Want an offering for Lord Orochi? Plenty here. No, I just want to sell that. I don't think you even have anything. Bye. Alright, we're doing it. You ready for this? You ready for Orochi? The man? The myth, the legend, the one they've been talking up these whole playthrough. Look over there. <gasps> it's Kushi! She's not dead! Hurry! 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 Oh, fuck. 
Yeah, that's right, it's me. The wild god of the heavens. of decay. Bottoms up, big guy. Alright, let's do this. Which one of you assholes is coming for me? No, not you. You guys are cool. I'll hang out with you. Ouch. My bones. That cheater has a barrier up. He's got the hacks on. What are we gonna do now? Any bright ideas, Furball? <sighs> no, don't eat her. I love her. Run, Kushi, run! Oh shit, he's here! Psycho Mantis! Manning the fuck up. Long have I awaited your coming, O oh descendant of Nagi. Now we shall fulfill this burning desire which has consumed us. The descendants of Nagi have kept me in prison here for a hundred years. Yet it is that accursed bloodline which shall unleash my true power. A pact between Nagi's descendant and I, the great Orochi shall deliver unto me dark powers beyond all comprehension. Let us seal the blood pact for all eternity. <laughs> Serpent breast. A blood pact with Susano will unleash Orochi's true power? Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. Your first chance slipped through your grasp. But now the time has come for us to seal our eternal bond. Speak the words, I wish darkness upon the world. Utter that prayer to me and seal our blood pact. You two shall gain dark powers beyond all comprehension. Yeah, that's how bad guys work. They try to tempt the good guy. Bet that sneaky serpent was the one giving Pops those nightmares. Now utter the prayer. Let the words come from deep within. Recite the words of our blood pact. Oh, I shall. I am the descendant of Nagi. Hell yeah, dude. Behold, Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. Fear me, vile serpent, who would seek to harm a helpless woman. Your time is up. Feel the wrath of my trusty sword. Foolish beast. Did you really think you could deceive me? The only pact for me is the one that comes with my bloodline. He's doing it. He's manning up. Ugh. 
It is my fate to fall battling evils, and so be it. I seek help from neither god nor demon. The heroic bloodline of Nagi is all I require to slay you. Hell yeah, dude. How is there still sake in there? Oh, hell yeah, there's sake everywhere. Susano and Kushi made a miracle happen. It's time to work your magic. All right, buddy, let's go. You big worm. Sake, shoot the eight purification sake right into Orochi's gaping maw. Right in his mouth. Right in his dumb face. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this. Alright, we're gonna get him drunk. Now he's really out of it. That one's down. Come on, Orochi. Get crunk, get drunk, get fucked up. Hit the strip club, don't forget the dead suck, get wasted, shit faced, wasted. Messed that up. Did it work? Oh, it did work. Alright, cool. You don't scare me. shit. This is my chance. I'm gonna hit that bell. Get me up there. Mas. Oh, now you want it. Fine. Wrong move. Nope. Almost got him. Got one head down. Come on, buddy.
gonna drink a sake. How about that? Sake for you, sake for me. No, stop doing that. Give him the sake. No! Sake. He's about to do it. I need to take care of that one. Oh my god, stop. Everybody, stop. No, sake in the mouth. We about to throw down on these assholes? Blade of Truth. All right. Goodwill. Never give in to evil.
finish it off. No. No way. I don't need your help this time. Now for the ultimate in Susano style martial arts. Celestial Cleaver. What a badass. Dearest Kushi, just as you devote your life to sake brewing, the way of the sword is all I know. Yet I have failed, for I unleashed that foul beast upon the world. I allowed evil to cloud my judgment. Who am I to claim the right to wield a sword now? Alas, there is no reason for me to live. Why do you look so serious? Come on. Life laugh like you normally do. Looking like that is what makes monsters turn up. So come on, laugh. Laugh like you do when you help me harvest the rice every year. You deafle me. Sumugari. Hold and release button for charged attack with a Rochi's glaive. The reborn form of Tsukiyomi. At that moment, a mysterious evil force emerged from Orochi's corpse, splitting off in all directions and flying off into the distant sky. At that time, no one had any inkling as to just what that force was. The truth is, the real calamity and chaos had yet to visit the world. But for the time being, Kamiki found itself enjoying a new era of peace. The story's far from over. It's just beginning. Just incredible. Absolutely amazing. Achievement unlocked. Serpent Breath. He's just thinking about the brush strokes that we could learn 
Doesn't even care. <gasps> the festival. That must have been one of Thomas fireworks. Wonder if the villagers already found out that Orochi's dead. It must be the festival. Oh yeah, time to party. Of course I want to save. I felt it. I sensed it. The ancient monster disappearing with one final roar. And everybody thinks Susano did it. I sense a new driving force for Susano now. Could it be love? You're curious about Susano's fortunes and love? Well, he should be back here in the village. But I don't sense him anywhere. Perhaps he and his special someone are talking in secret somewhere. You must not poke your nose in their affairs too much, my friend. Ooh, they're fucking... Ooh! Get his dick wet! Everybody's here! The festival! Look, it's my bros! Mr. Bamboo! Looking at the moon reminds me of Kaguya. You know anything about her? Know anything about Kaguya? How would I? I didn't think so. Be pretty amazed if you did. Maybe the gods smiled on us and let you their string. Hey friend, where have you been? I'll drink a toast to him, to the brave warrior. And look, the boys are playing. Can't catch me. Mushi's all fired up about that hole digging record again. Even Un is no match for Hayabusa's hole digging skills. I mean, I beat him. This might be the last time I play with Mushi. You see, I want to face new challenges. I want to see the world and become a real man, just like Susano. But I'll never forget the time we spent fishing together, doggy. Oh, that's nice. What about you? You defeated Orochi and saved the village. Sorry, he's too busy with my own duties. Oh, relax. Dog's gotta do what a dog gotta do. Dog gotta do that da da dog. I knew it was you. That was quite a feat. But he knows. What's up, Mushi? New king of holes digging snowy. I'm gonna be best friends with Hayabusa forever. After all, he did save my life. We're gonna dig up turnips like there's no tomorrow. Aww. Treasure. Let's go check up here. So happy my husband's dance went so well again this year. Yeah, he's busting it. Look at him go. Sup, Mr. Orange? Holy shit, he's break dancing? A truly joyous occasion. How happy I was to see him like that. Of course, I've never glimpsed Nagi in the flesh myself, but... Hey, where is he now? 
I was about to dance for Konohana instead of presenting the usual offering of sake. Well, he squandered all the sake. See, he's still pissed. <laughs> fireworks. Oh yeah, show me those fireworks. Her nip. They're great fireworks. Really great. You only say that because they look like something you would like. Tama. You like Lenny Latest works of art? Don't get too close. Get ready to be amazed. The brightest constellation in the sky, the fabled Duo Spectacular. That's me. That's Isun. And Susano. Very impressive. That me. Oh, Great Mother Okami Amaterasu. Please, just call me Ami. I am filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear the final chapter of Orochi has been written. The entire village is in your debt. Please accept their thanks. That said, what a splendid evening. Even I'm feeling a bit intoxicated by the festival spirit. Fireworks are awesome. Yeah, we're so lucky to see a display like this on our travels. Nothing like a good festival. Wasn't thinking about my mom here or anything like that. You have a mom? Where are you from, Isun? I have Rejuvenation, Power Slash, Sunrise. Three part technique for Flora. And then Cherry Bomb, Water Spout, Crescent, Gale Storm, and Inferno. Wonder where the other four brush gods are hiding. We've searched all over the countryside already, and now that we've taken care of Orochi and all, maybe it's time we headed out to the capital city. Oh yeah, big city living. Don't let it bother ya. I haven't seen Susanoo or Kushi around either. It's not too hard to figure it out though. I mean... A man and a woman disappear during a festival? That's a dead giveaway. They have the hots for each other. I wouldn't go looking for them right now if I were you. You sure? You sure that I shouldn't? Is there gonna be explicit material? What a lovely night for a festival. I bet they're back at his house. They getting it on. Oh no, the door's open. They're not here. I just walk in on them hardcore banging. That was a nice festival. Do I have anything to sell? Don't have anything to sell. About time we headed to the capital. This is about a good place to stop for tonight, too. Let's go ahead and go to the nearest mirror to save. Ah, <gasps> Sukuya! You have only just performed your duties, yet you plan to leave? 
My heart aches at the thought of our separation. Me too. You're pretty uptight for a tree spirit. At the instant of Orochi's passing, I, I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion, I distinctly sensed an evil other than Orochi. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there something else at work? Shinshu has been restored. Of that there is no doubt. But nature's tormented cries ring out in other parts of Nippon. Especially chilling are those emanating from the capital. In the Ryoshima coast, beyond the bridge and Taka Paths. Well, we were planning on visiting that place anyway. And that black mist was moving towards the capital as well. Cannot say for sure exactly what that means. What I do know is that whatever has plunged this world into chaos has not yet finished toying with us. This ordeal is far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? I pray that the fresh sun of Flora will follow you always. I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. And just like that, she's gone. Give me a break. On to the capital. First stop, the city checkpoint at Taka Pass. As a kid, I had thought that the game was all about leading up to Orochi and getting rid of Orochi. I didn't know there was going to be more game. So when I found that out, it was like, holy shit. There's more game? And it was sweet. Thank you, everybody, for watching today. Especially you, Psychomantis. You got to see the saga. The saga of Susano and Kushi. And they getting it on. They fucking... You know it. Gosh, I almost have been streaming for four hours. Oh my. But it's been fun. Look forward to more of that kind of stuff in the future. And of course, with that, goodbye. And thank you for watching.